Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, we've been talking about the laws of prosperity. Now, we've talked about the first point, which is um, settle it in your heart. God's will for you is to prosper you. If you believe it, number two, confess it. Number three, participate in the things that lead to prosperity. And then number four, don't conform to this world. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I read the scripture to you yesterday. I'm going to read it again. Just, I'm going to paraphrase it. It says, Oh, let me read from the, the Amplified Version. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Now it says, Do not be conformed to this world, that's this age, fashioned after or adapted to its external superficial custom, but be transformed, be changed by the entire renewal of your mind, by its new ideas and its new attitude, so that you may prove for yourselves what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God? Even the things which is good and acceptable and perfect in His sight for you. Now what is he saying? Don't allow yourself to be conformed, to adapt to the way the world does things. You know why? See, the blessing of God, the Bible says, it makes rich. And he adds no sorrow with it. We are talking about prosperity from God. We are not just talking about the prosperity that is in the world. There's a difference. There's a prosperity in the world. See, David talked about the people who prosper in the world. He's talking about the wicked men. He said, these are they who prosper in the world. See, and, and they do things anyhow. In their mind, God doesn't know. But he said, we are different. Why are we different? There is the prosperity that is of God. Now I want to make this clear to you because this is very important. You know, sometimes you find believers who you hear them say things like, I can never steal. You say, why? You say, no, instead of me to steal, let me be broke. Now that's a very wrong statement to make before God if you're a believer. It sounds like an, 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 an honest statement, but it is wrong. And I'll show you why it's wrong. The reason we don't steal is not because we are afraid. The reason we don't steal is because we have no need to steal. See? Now, why should I steal when whatever is there, my father has provided for me? Are you getting what I'm saying? So when you say, instead of me to steal, I will rather beg or I will rather be broke. Satan uses, remember I read that scripture last week. Jesus said, by your words you shall be justified. By your words you shall be condemned. Now when you say, instead of me to steal, I will rather go broke or I will rather beg. Satan takes that word from your mouth and he uses it against you that you said you want to beg or you want to be broke. That's what you said. See? Now, what, what, what am I supposed to say? He said, no, I can't steal because God supplies all my needs that I need. So that thing I'm supposed to steal, I would rather ask God for it. Did you see the difference? Now, so slimy, but very powerful. How your words get you into trouble. Oh, instead of me to, to beg that man, I would rather resign. And then the next thing, you're forced to resign. And you say, but where was God? I, I stood in righteousness. I stood in holiness. What words were you speaking? See? Oh, I I instead of me, instead of that lecturer to, to, to sleep with me or to have his way with me, I would rather fail that course. And then you fail. You say, but, but I stood for God. I prayed. What did you say? No. Put your words right. And you see the power of God available. If there are no words, see, if there, Jesus told Peter, let's not offend them. Go get money and pay. He went, he got money and he paid. So don't, don't say things like that. Rather, instead of, no, I say, first of all, say, I'll never fail that course. I'm going to study hard and I'm going to write well. I'm going to do well angels of God. See, why, why I can't let that lecturer have what he wants to have, maybe bribe or, uh, or touch my body? It is because this thing, my body is a living sacrifice. He can't touch my body because if he does it, an angel will slap him. 
That's why I'm, I'm preventing him from trouble. But as for that cause, I'm passing it. As for that money, I'm getting it. As for that promotion, I'm getting it. Now that's how you act. That's how you speak. Praise God. Listen. Don't allow the world system or the way they talk or they do to choke you. It is wrong. Get into God's system. And you'll begin to see the blessing of God flow in your life. Praise God. And let me tell you something. My time is up. I'm going to continue tomorrow. And we'll wrap this up tomorrow. God bless you. Have the best day ever. Bye-bye.